What's up, guys? All right, today we're going to talk about hockeys. This is one of the things that's changed my life when it comes to animation. Um, if you know me, you know I want to give back and I want to give value. So one of my goals in this channel is to find ways to give you tips and tricks, little things here and there that will help you become better animators, more efficient animators, and like I always say, work smarter, not harder. So today, let's get into Maya and talk about hotkeys and how it changed my life. All right, I know what you're thinking. This is a small thing, right? Not a very big deal, but things like this can sometimes have a huge impact on your workflow and help you go home at night and not be so tired. Um, you know, think about it. You're at work all day, you're keyframing, you got your eyes going back and forth, up and down as you're basically moving your hand from your arrow keys back to your other keys like ASD, WER, whatever. So with the help of one of my coworkers, Drew, he helped me set up my hotkeys in a way that lets my left hand kind of stay put about 95% of the time as I'm working throughout my day, which is really great because now I can keep my eyes on my monitor, not constantly looking down to move my hand over and then back again. So if you think about it all day long, being able to stay focused, be able to stay creative and in your scene and not basically looking down, moving your hand all the time, it's a big impact over the course of a day. So let's get into Maya real quick and I'll talk to you about how I did this and what kind of impact it's made on me. And I hope you'll use it and stick with it for at least a week because I guarantee you if you do this for one week, you'll probably stay with it or you'll come up with your own hotkeys that'll help you stay creative, get less stressed out, less fatigue, and more productive. Let's get into it. All right, here's where it gets good. So right now I have my left hand on my left side of my keyboard and I can just quickly, really easily go through all my keys. I can go frame by frame. I can play my animation and stop it. I can go backwards frame by frame and backwards key by key. And that's basically it. I can save my scene, I can set keyframes all within one area where my hand is planted. And that's the thing I wanna really help you with today. And um, help you make your, your uh, animation much more efficient. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your uh, windows and you're gonna open up your uh, settings and preferences. Let's go into the hockey editor right here. And then once that's open, we're going to uh, set up our hotkeys. All right, so most likely, if you haven't done this yet, you're gonna have a Maya default in here. And what you're gonna do is just hit the gear and then duplicate that and then rename it. So mine's called Maya Mike. Once you have that done, go down here to Edit Hotkey 4, and then you're gonna select Menu Items. And then from here, I, I like to kind of collapse all this initially and make it easier to navigate. But you're gonna basically go down to Animation here, and we're gonna start a key. So open that up right here. And then you'll notice when I have, um, for Set Key, I have Alt S. Okay, so the nice thing about that is my thumb rests on my Alt key, just above it, and then my middle finger is on my S. Okay, so that's where I have my set key. Okay, we'll close that, go to playback, and this is where all the magic is right here. So as you can see, my play and my stop is uh, set to a toggle for S, and so now my middle finger just hitting the S key will let my animation play, and then I can stop it by hitting S again. Very convenient. Next key is set to D, previous key is set to A. Next frame, Alt, D, and then previous frame, Alt, A. And that's basically it. That's the gist of it. So it's that simple. So if you think about it, you have your, your ring finger on A, your middle finger on S, and then your um, pointer finger on D. And then my thumb rests on my Alt key most of the time. And then my pinky, I'll just kind of rest it on the outside of my caps lock, shift and control keys to kind of anchor my hand so I know where I am at all times. And then just going up to WER is a very simple movement up and over by one key. Not a big deal. And that's kind of it. Just by me eliminating the need to go alt arrows is a huge deal in regard to me not having to look down all day long and back up at my monitors constantly back and forth. And it allows me just to stay in my scene longer. I'm more efficient, I get more work done, I can work faster, and I'm not tired. So I would just really urge you, just try it out, give it a week, and I promise you it'll make a big difference in how you animate your scenes and stay creative. All right, so remember, don't 
work hard, work smart. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, let's go over here real quick. I'm gonna show you a graphic. So just to give you another visual here, here's our hotkey layout, and you can see that uh, WER still translate, rotate, scale. Nothing's changed there. Okay, then my S is my plane stop toggle. Next key, previous key are A and D, and then previous frame, next frame are also A and D with Alt, okay? And then, of course, Alt S is setting keys and S is playing the animation. So not a big deal, very simple, but you can see just in the graphic where you can get a lot accomplished by just having your left hand right over there and not a big change, but it'll change how you work, I promise you. So again, give it a try. I'd uh, love to hear your comments and thoughts about it. Um, and also leave comments on your favorite hockey setups or things that you feel make you more efficient as an animator and might help out other people. It's paid forward. All right, until next time, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy animating.